Good morning, how are you going? I'm the Jez, and welcome back to another face cam commentary. We've got a bit of face, a lot of commentary, and as you can see, this is on High Tower with the Widowmaker. Widowmaker only, so a bit of a disclaimer, this is not how you play Engineer. I don't help my team at all. I don't drop a single building. All I'm doing is running around, trying to kill people with the Widowmaker, trying to have a bit of fun, just trying to uh, get those frags, crush some nerds, you know what I'm saying, you guys know what I'm saying. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy... As you can see, just kind of floating around. This sentry is going up. Not a good time. See you later, mate. You do not want a sentry going up around here. It is my professional opinion that now is the time to panic. You guys know those times where you're on a bit of a streak. You're on, let's say, like a five kill streak, a ten kill streak. And you find yourself on like five HP. And you're just like, oh my god, get me to a health pack right now. And you're just freaking out. And that's what I was doing right there. I was freaking out. I didn't want to die. I nearly got killed. So, thank God I didn't die right there. Now, why am I jumping at a sniper and a soldier covered in Jurati? I have no idea. I'm absolutely retarded. I have no idea why I did that. But it did lead to this awesome surf that I managed to do. And I just float away and somehow get out of there alive. Unbelievable. That's a pro tip. If you have a round a corner or you find yourself too close to a soldier... Leap backwards when you think he's going to shoot his rocket and crouch in the air and just try and surf that bad boy away like I managed to there. That was pretty lucky. But yeah, you'd be surprised how often you can live if you just manage to get a good surf away. So yeah, tips 101 with the Jets. Maybe that could be a series. I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? You guys want some tips? You want tips? You want tips? Yeah, you want tips. Focus. Okay, here we go. Come on, focus. Taking out that sniper. Purple people eater. He was running around with his Jurati so much in this game. I was like, dude, what are you doing with that Jurati? And we have a classic Pyro just walking forward endlessly right there on High Tower. Followed by Gibber Spy. So just loving it. Overall, just having a great game. And yeah, what is this? Uh, what is that? A scout? What am I saying? That is a spy. And what was he doing there? He was like taunting, but was he going for a taunt kill? I don't know, because his teammates spawn next to him there, so that wasn't going to be an enemy coming out of that spawn, that was his own spawn. Who is he going to kill? I don't know, I have no idea. <sighs> the old Gibbous Sniper. If you play High Tower long enough, you will see many a Gibbous Sniper just walking straight off that edge right there. Although, admittedly, I have walked off that edge so many times. It's so embarrassing. You're so committed to a fight. You're like, yeah, you want to go? You want to go? And then you just back straight off the edge. You kill yourself. And then they usually give you a bit of a lol in chat. And you're like, sweet, let me just disconnect. Because I'm so bad. I'm trying to sneak after that demo right there. And then I walk straight into this soldier. But he kind of derped his rockets a bit. So I felt confident that I could just walk at him and kill him. And that demo was trying to set up a sticky trap and he wasn't setting it up on like the wall right there he was just blatantly putting them on the ground so man he just had some next level trap strats right there he was really feeling that anyway missing a shot on a stationary engineer right there high level plays right here insane accuracy and right there where that scout was that's about the furthest distance away I think I would shoot with the Widowmaker any further away than that distance and you're going to be losing more metal than you gain, so it's not really worth it. And there's that 20 kill streak. Not too bad, considering I'm only using the Widowmaker, but in saying that, really... I think we've all seen the people that I'm bursting right now, so... It just makes sense that I would get a 20 kill streak this round. And I don't want to get close to this Pyro right here, because I know he's just going to walk forward at me, do way too much damage. And he's got the cart regen as well, so I'm just aware of that. And then finally, when he's distracted, that's when I move in, and then boom, crit him for 180. Complete accident. And here we go. Final kill on this medic. I get him. Yes, I do. There's the 23 kill streak, so not too bad. That was a pretty good round. Um, yeah, the enemies weren't the toughest, but I mean, with random crits being factored in, sometimes it actually is quite a challenge to get to a 20 kill streak just because of the ridiculous stuff that happens in public service. So I was pretty happy with that. Anyway, as you can see, we've merged onto a bonus clip on Gullywash right here. Love Gullywash, great map. 
Spy, when you cloak, don't just hold W like that, because I'm just going to destroy you. Anyway, distracting myself there. So as you can see, flanking the enemy team, this was the mid-fight. Flank, take out the heavy, take out the pyro. Heavy number two, he has no idea what's going on. And yeah, so that's how you get behind and do a lot of work, really. Bumped into a spy right here, and I was just looking for him. There he is. He just appears with an arrow, like, through his head. And this Pyro with the back burner. Not today, back burner Pyro. Not today. And I'm just kind of floating around right here, and I'm waiting to catch someone off guard, and then we bump into this Medic. Hello, mate. Always going to go for those Med Picks. I've said it before, Medic is obviously the highest priority. Nine times out of ten. And that heavy, for some reason, stopped shooting, dropped down, and was like, Hey man, what's going on? Do you mind if we hang out? And I was like, not today. Sorry, mate. And then he just gets destroyed. So I have no idea what he was doing. And then take out the soldier. There's the 10 kill streak. So that is it for this little cute little gameplay as well. They get back capped by a engineer. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Sorry I haven't had time to upload more than uh, one video a week. I'm flying over to New Zealand tomorrow, actually, for the week. So I've got one video prepared for next week as well and then when I get back after that hopefully we'll get more, uh, into the more you know two to three videos a week kind of timeline but anyway thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it I'm the Jazz God bless you and I hope to see you next time